Weaving spells and spell weaver. Yeah! Good times weaving around. Name's growing on me a little bit. Just a little bit, not much, but a little bit. It could have a much better name. What's happening here? I don't get, I don't get to pick if I throw this back or not. Okay, game, here we go. Um, shit though, I don't even know. Do I keep this? This seems terrible, I'm gonna draw again. All right, see, I got stuff to do now. That was the right call. I'm giving myself a thumbs up. I done did it. A doodly dude. What the hell? Oh, I forgot I had that in here. I'll do one Dominion level. Hell yeah, I will. Get these guys out there on the field. Start making me mana. Make that mana. This guy's got a Dominion level land. Didn't he just use one of those? Oh, Jesus. He's got a bunch of stuff going on here. Uh, one mana, one card. Play this guy. Say go. So I'm at three mana, so I can play Swift Blade. I'm at four mana, but I can't play that. Uh, you got me. 18. Ow. What does he got for mana? Ooh, this guy's doing stuff second main. So I'm gonna go him. I hate that guy. Do I have my removal spell? Absolutely not. I don't like that. Hmm. So I've got four. Can I do both of these then? I can't play that. I wonder if I, I don't know if I can do this or not, actually. Can she use this ability here? Yes, she can. Fantastic. I was trying to figure out if I could do that or not in my head. I was trying to remember the rules. Okay. That wasn't a bad turn. This guy can make little dudes, though. Wish I had a removal spell to murder his face off. Because that'd be awesome. I would do that. This guy might get bounced back to my hand. Three mana, two levels. Three mana, two levels. Three damage. That's a bummer. That is a bummer. You got me. 16. I do have another one, though, so maybe that's maybe this isn't the end of the world. It's pretty close. So I've got one, two. So I've got five mana. I need some levels, though. I need to raise up in some levels. Oh god. Mutant's really good, but I need levels. Oh, Vampire Touch would be amazing because it could help me kill this thing. Really slowly though. More than anything, I need a level. So we gotta do that. So I've got two Dominion levels now. I can get five mana. So I can do Power Surge and this guy. This is not great. For each creature you control. It's so cheap, though. I feel like that's really overwhelming. I think that we'll be okay with that if we play that. I need to get my ability. That's what I need. Okay. Anything else? That's that guy who does that damage? Shit. Oh my god.
Give me one, give me one, give me one. Yes. Here we go. One Dominion level. Yep, 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 yep. Okay, give it to me, give it to me. Give me something good. Okay, uh... I'll put it on this guy. Vampirism might help me here too, but I don't know. This guy's got so many dudes out. He can do direct damage to me. I need that third win in a row, Randy! It's not what his name is, but whatever. Yeah, we all knew that was going to happen if I didn't shield that guy, but I mean, whatever, kind of. I don't take damage from that first one, but I will take damage from that one. But they're his creatures, so I mean, it's kind of nice. What did he just do? What the hell did you just do? Why won't this pop up? What is his ability? Draw a card, okay. This is not great though. Play my assassin. But Mutant has to jump in the back row here. If I could have killed this one too, I would have been so much happier with my life. Because these, both these guys were just created from that one too. And I've still got like two turns before this will wake up. I'll take the four. Okay, so that guy's been frozen, so that's not great, but I can just... Oh, damn it! Where's my board wipe? I really need my board wipe. I'm trying to stay alive until this wakes up or find my board wipe. Oh, that frost thing. So what frost does is it makes it so that any damage you take just kills you. Or your creature, rather. So I can't do vampirism because I'm not in a situation where I can attack. Except this guy becomes a 2-3. Which is literally like the only thing that I can do in my life is make this guy a 2-3. At the start of my turn. I will lose two health. It's a two three. So murder instinct doesn't even really help. Next turn I get to pop my thing though, so let's do this. Because next turn I get to make, and all my stuff will be big and scary and, and murdery. And then maybe I can play Murder Instinct on one of the creatures I get of his. One damage. That just means I lose one less life. It's only during my turn that they have that buff. Oh man, I'm rolling my sleeves up here. This is, uh, this is getting bad. I'm about to take four damage. Because he has to hit me with those other two guys. He made another dude. Attack me for two. That's fine. I'm a nine. I'm going to go to eight.
Mana one card. Let me use this ability. I'm gonna get absolutely nothing. I got something worthwhile there. Oh no, this is bad. So in step murder the two one. You pretty much kill all my creatures right now. Where is my board wipe? Aren't there four in here? 41 cards left. Come on. I need that luck. I need that board wipe. I mean, if I don't draw the board wipe, I'm going to use this ability to burn through one of these to get the land so that I can use the land to draw a card. That's how desperate we are right now. Give me that board wipe, kids. Come on. He's only got one mana left. How, how the hell does that thing keep shitting those out so quickly? There was a board wipe right there, guys. But I need to do this. Oh, son of a bitch. I can do. I'm at eight. That's not good. Well, even now, though, he can do direct damage to me. Because he can do one right here with this guy. nothing I can do because I can't attack. None of those were board wipes at all, you guys. I came up with that strategy to try and find stuff like super late game. Super late in my existence there. Because there's nothing I can do. To sack the guy out and just try and find something that I could draw. Just try and draw that board, board wipe so that I could win this game. Or not even win this game, but just not die a horrible death. <sighs> that one hurt. I need more removal. I 
I need more removal. But I have four of these already and there, there are no more removal cards. Ugh. I am frowning. I need more creatures, man. See, this is supposed to be like a control deck, but maybe I need more creatures. So maybe I... Oh, God, I hate that. Maybe I can... Get rid of something in here. Power Surge is nice, but is it like... I don't know. If we got rid of Power Surge, I'd have four slots open for creatures. I wouldn't use that guy. It's just two, three for three. That's not even that good. This one, three is not fantastic because it costs four for Christ's sake. Power Seeker's not a bad dude because he's fast and he's got that pump, pump, pump. You can pump, pump, pump it up. You only cost two. That's like that's like mana ramp two, and you get an empty mana crystal. It just feels good. To the point where I'm not sure if I want to give that up. I could get rid of Helm of Dominion. Take control of target dude is pretty good in this because if they play something on it, you're able to just grab it and be like, nah, I'm gonna go ahead and hold on to this from now on. You're good. I'm trying to think, so I got real quiet there because I'm trying to think how often I use this. Putting cards in and out of this is kind of weird. Um... How often do I use this? Happily. But how often am I gonna use the guy who only has one in the ass? Because he really does have to be, like you can't really block him. You know what I mean? Like if anybody blocks him, he just dies. But he's so fat, he's fast though. He's fast though. 58 cards in deck. I don't have stuff that pumps guys though, so like the 1 3 is not great. I could take out the Shadow Assassin. They're not as useful as I thought they'd be. Let's take out Assassin. Let's put in one more of these. Even though I just took out Mana Ramp, I know. I'm an idiot. This guy's kind of worthless. We're three down, and we could just put in this Bloodborne Prince and call it a day, but he's not a he's not a large dude and he's not particularly fast. Like he doesn't have a lot going on. So they were right here. I mean, we can either put in the mana ramp or we can put in the guy that we just took out with the shadow, sta shadow step assassin. Oh, there's four copies of the mana ramp in deck. Never mind, I don't even know what I took out anymore. Life is just so... Oh, Power Seeker's out. But he's fast. Can, what, what is... What the shit? Why won't he go in there? Oh, Power Seeker 2 in deck. Okay, so is this the old one? Wait, can I just... Oh, God. This is super stupid, so it do just doesn't say on here? And I do have four assassins in there. Er... No, I don't have any. So let's just take three and put them in there. And just call that a day. Is this the one? Back. And then it updates, or what? 
I guess so. What a truly dizzying intellect you have. <laughs> truly, you have a dizzying intellect. Wait till I get going. All right, let's try this thing then. God dang it. Zero three. That's a real kick to the nuts, I'll tell you that one. A real nut kicker. Those PvE challenges are hard as hell, too. I'm not really looking forward to playing another one of those. Uh, let's start up the strength game for Neva. And there all, there's always an elf named Neva and stuff. She's just hanging out. I like to think it's the same elf. She's a planeswalker. She can do all sorts of things. She planeswalked into our world, and she is just playing this game on the computer. It just reminds me of home. I like it. It's okay. Mm, it's all right. Man, that was a bummer. That guy really, I, I just, just spent that entire time trying to stabilize. Can you imagine if we had kept the hand that was just mana though? Like that would have been a tragedy. All right, what we got here? No mana at all. Are you shucks in me right now. Draw again all day, are you kidding me? Oh God, here we go. We got a couple, we got a couple, but. We can't actually do anything. Um, yes, we can. Yes, we can. Nature level. Yo, suck on this. Oh, goodness gracious, it's the same person. I didn't even pay attention to what they were doing. They threw down the same dude. Ooh, this is a little black and, black and green type thing going on here. Sure, whatever. See, I would have attacked the face there face attacker that's just who I am do that so now I can actually cast stuff I guess but like next turn yo you, we, we all gotta wait a second for that this guy's setting up shop too discard two cards that seems like a real dick move dude goblins you control their swift What's this do? Pay two to summon a new goblin. I guess this guy costs a ton. Done? That sucked. Not a fan. One mana, one card. Give me something I can play. Disciple. Oh, it costs a mana. Oh, son of a gun. I don't have a whole lot of mana to be tossing into this guy's ability here. That might become a problem. Yeah, I knew that when, when he cast the first one, I knew that there was going to be more to follow. Um, what's castable from my hand? I mean, I can ping him to death if I need to. Just poke him for that one damage over and over if all he does is try and control. But this is the control we're talking about. Can you get plus two, plus two until end of turn? Well, that sucks. I hate cards that do that. Garbage. Um, I need another red thing. Let's get rid of this. That's what I want. Let's do this and do this. Let's cast this guy because I probably won't get another chance. Let's attack with everybody. Go. Can't use this ability, but whatever. It's fine. Boom. 17. Because I figure that he's got more discard or something to that effect. Someplace. And then he just plays big creatures at the very end and wins. That's awesome. I have to pay two? Yeah. Cool. That's a 6-6. Six, six. It has no no uh, no drawbacks. It's just good. It's slow though. What is the speed of the goblin? Gotta tell you, I don't know. So I'm gonna start taking six. That costs one, so that doesn't even do anything for me. Um, let's attack. Yeah, sure. What's the speed of him? Two? Okay. Got 
Got to do something. Because I need blockers out to stop the 6-6. Six, six. But if I can just be faster than him, the 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 next turn. If he can't kill these guys, I win in two turns. I've also got this guy if I ever have anything left over. Landslide. Amazing! Fantastic. Use corner. One of those doesn't exist. He costs two. Because I need his ability more than I need anything else. It doesn't really matter what I pick because I'm just going to use it for a mana. So that's four. I got a landslide of my own. Can't use it yet. Got to play this guy. Got to attack. Yes. Okay, use his ability. That's five. There's nothing this guy can do. Okay. Dead next turn. Dead next turn. Can I move this guy up to the front row so he can block? I sure as hell can. Your turn. Go. I'll block all day. Because these guys just win me this game now. Because they're too fast. This guy's slow. He's big and awesome and slow. That guy's fast, though. These are problems. But I have Landslide. Just hot blocks on. Can I move this guy up? Yeah, and he's got Swift or whatever. And then I landslide these two. And then I attack. Is it two? If I drew that burn spell, I would have just killed him, but it's fine. Okay. You're at two. If I draw any burn at all, you lose. If you play those two guys again, then you've got blockers, though, and that's a pretty big problem for me. Because they were even as fast as my 3-2, and they would murder him. Landslide again is really, really, really bad. He only got to play one, though. Didn't I just win? He only got to play one. But I'm going to draw it right off the tees. There it is. Because it has Swift. So just cast this dude again. You can't block both, my dude. You can't block them both. What's happening here? Hell yes. I just won. Just straight up won. You should have just cast both creatures. Yo, what's up? Cero. That's how much life you got, son? Yeah. That one felt good. That one felt good. All right, what can I do? What can I do with Neba here? Let's, let's see. Let's see what she got. What she got. What she got. Edit deck. I like this game. Um, I want to get rid of... The garbage. Plus five. I like combat tricks, but not that much. So let's take that out. I do like this. Just attached to a creature. I'd rather just have a bunch of dudes. You know what I mean? I want red too. Where's red? Do I have other goblin guys? Okay. I've got the one copy that I have. I've got both of those guys. That's good. Uh, let's just do creatures and spells because there are, there are like no artifacts really, right? Whoa, what's this? Oh, that's like a themed deck 
type thing. Support, play with the top card of your deck reveal if it's an elf. You may play that card as though it were in your hand. Now we don't really have the luxury of doing something like that. There are no longer two copies of that in my deck. Move all creatures to the support line. Interesting. All right, what else do we have here? Because I can take this out, the plus two attack, but which is good, but maybe put something else in here. Like, what's this guy? Destroying artifact. Allied totems. This guy's ranged. He seems pretty damn good. He's a 3-4. Okay, before we, we got the two copies that we can have of that in there. We've got this. We've got eight open spots. I mean, this guy's just plain good. We'll put him in there. Or we've got two open spots, I'm sorry. <laughs> Uh, but then if I take out, what if I, do I just have like uh, short little one drops? Do I have anybody who's just really low to the ground? No, because they are in that order already. So I don't have any one drops. I kind of like this guy, but I kind of like this too. So that's 60. This is how much they cost over here, or their rarity? I think this is how much they cost, not their rarity, actually. Yeah, that is what this little banner over here is. Okay, so we want green out faster. 12 to 11, huh? Hmm. Are there any kind of special shrines in this? Turn creature control back to its owner's hand. Why the hell not? Why the hell not? You know what? No, I should actually do that. And this. Okay. 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 That doesn't seem terrible. Seems like we kind of got something going on here now. A little something, not much. Like, I really would rather just take this fairy out, though. Are there other creatures in there? Or do we pretty much look at everybody? Not really. For one one more mana, we get a 2-3. Or a 2-2 two, two that's just faster, never mind. Hmm... It's a fairy. See, but it's a fairy, so it's not. It doesn't even really gel with our other elf strategy. You know what I mean? Like it's kind of. I kind of like. I kind of like this guy. We'll put four of them in there, and then are there some other of these that we could get rid of? I cut this down. What if I just cut this out? And well, if we just put in a bunch more creatures? Because I feel like this is the creature deck because I can give stuff speedy, can I? Make it fast? So then if I like put in this, like what if I just start throwing in random garbage? I don't think I'm affecting the... Just another one of these, why not? 60. All right, so two, fourteen. You got to count them all and then multiply them by this. I do like that they have this though, because not even Magic: The Gathering uh, does this, or the Duels of the Planeswalkers does this. So this is actually really nice. I like it a lot. Um, let's go back now and look at this. 28 creatures, 9 spells, 23 shrines, and our spells are mostly all removal, right? We've got the fireball, we've got dragon fire. See, I, I like that, you know what I mean? Like, this is kind of nice. We've got the landslide, which is good, fireball, fire blast, 
Dragonfire. Okay, I like this kind of a lot. I think that's pretty good. Um, all right, we'll keep working on this, see what happens. Thanks a lot for watching, you guys. See you all next time.